welcome guys. We're just doing a quick update. Uh, me and Sonny Arvado here from strengthbysunny.com. We're uh, watching the Super Bowl currently. Uh, I just want to update you guys. As it says in the, the banner at the top of my YouTube, I'm doing a Reddit Ask Me Anything on Thursday, February 8th. That's this Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So those of you that are around the world, not in the States, check to see what that translates to for your time zone. And the way, for those of you who don't know what a Reddit Ask Me Anything is, it's basically... Um, as the title suggests, you can ask me anything and I will, it's not, it's not video though. It's just like in a text thread in a forum and I'm going to respond to everyone's questions. Um, you know, not necessarily in order, but I will answer all those questions that you guys lead on there. So it's like an opportunity for all you guys that subscribe to my channel or that have been interested in hearing what I have to say about a certain topic. Um, you can interface with me directly through that. It'll post the question publicly and then I'll respond and then people can follow up with sub responses. There's only a couple of rules that the mods asked me to adhere to. So I have to, I had to, in order to even have this AMA, I had to, cause I'm like a questionable figure. Uh, I had, <laughs> I had to, um, agree to a couple things. So I can't specifically flame people. Uh, let me show my Jesus shirt here. I just saw it pop up. So I found this online. It says, uh. It says, hallowed be thy gains, which is a playoff, hallowed be thy name from the Our Father prayer, which is still ingrained in my memory, being brought up as a nice Catholic boy. Um, yeah, I sent this to my family, and my mom said, unbelievable. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to talk about my, my fitness progress in a second. But yeah, so here's the two rules, basically, for the Reddit that I had to agree to. So you guys can still post shit like this, because a lot of you are going to be like, well, fuck their rules which you shouldn't think because they're, they're just going to have, they're going to be heavily monitoring the AMA and they're going to delete any threads that violate these two rules. So first off, I can't bash any specific pickup group or PUA or person or feminist or anything. It's they're kind of leaving all that like drama stuff out of this. Like you guys know, I like to call out other coaches and tell things real and raw. And a lot of you are going to be like, tell me what your opinion is on this coach and this coach. Mm -hmm. and, and I can't do that. And if you can post that stuff, I'm not going to answer it. And the mods will delete it once they see it. Um, also, in terms of like the drama that happened with my arrest back in 2013, I have a whole video devoted to that. They don't really want to like rebury all, or resurface all that stuff and have it detract from all the good content I can provide. So if you guys aren't familiar with what I'm talking about, it's like one of the most popular videos in this channel where I kind of explain like a pickup related arrest where there was no charges and no conviction and no trial. So... Don't get into those topics. Don't get into asking me about opinions on schools of pickup or, you know, you can, you can say like, how does your method differ from such and such? And I'll give you the differences. I can talk about things in a general and constructive and objective way, but I can't get into like, fuck this guy, fuck this group, which I, I, I would love to say, but you know, I promised them I wouldn't do that shit. So in the sake of providing value, we'll, we'll stay politically correct there and keep it, keep it on topic. You know, you guys can, ask about other um, coaches and stuff in the comments threads of, of other videos on my channel and stuff. And I'll do videos on more coaches. So, um, but yeah, do you want to talk about the fitness stuff? Yeah. So as far as J-Mo's progress uh, in the gym, um, you know, right on schedule, everything's going according to plan. Um, we started what, beginning of January. It's yeah, like and I'll, I'll put up a picture <laughs> in post Yeah, over here showing my... Uh, my January 1st starting point, it's actually yeah. pretty pathetic. I didn't realize I was like that skinny. But once yeah. my clothes are off, it's too late. Yeah, no, it's an overall, and it's not even just <laughs> for these chicks. Just um, like purely from a building muscle standpoint. You know, J-Mo, if he's going over, you know, what his what his state of health was, you know, prior to coming uh, to come train with me, you know, obviously the drinking and not getting enough meals, not getting enough water. And, it, you know, it showed. You'll see in the, the initial pick that we start off with. Um, yeah. but overall, you know, you'd agree. You're just... just yeah, I was I was drinking yeah. almost every day. I was uh, not really drinking much water mm -hmm. <laughs> ever. No. But, yeah, I was drinking water with meals, but I wasn't yeah. drinking water. Now I'm drinking a gallon of water a day, which is like 16 mm -hmm. eight-ounce glasses. Mm -hmm. I was eating one to two meals a day before. So I was, like, sleeping in all the time and all mm -hmm. this shit. Now I'm eating five, sometimes six. Um... We're doing five days a week weights right now and uh, three days a week Muay Thai kickboxing. We got Sonny yeah. doing Muay Thai also. Yeah, we uh, we, originally, we originally started him out on a uh, on a four-day split just to get him acclimated to um, 
not only lifting weights, but doing having a daily schedule where physical activity is involved. Um, that wasn't the case before coming, uh, you know, coming to live here and train with me. Now, how, much, how much? And this is a serious question. Yeah. How much uh, does like fucking count as cardio? No, I mean, no, it's fucking good cardio because what you, your fucking heart's racing, um, <laughs> you know. But uh, you know, as far as you know, the lifting the weights, you know that you know nothing compares to that. So that's you know. We got him on a program doing that four days a week, um, about a month in last week. Well, actually, this week we're starting it off because we just started off. This is our first week on a on a five-day split. We're going to spread it out yeah, a little doing, more. Yeah, the first ones we did, we did four-day split. Yeah, and yeah, real quick, too, I um, I went, and I'll put the, the picture from last week, but I went from, in the first four weeks, I went from 195 pounds to uh, 210, and now I'm 213. So it's mm-hmm. it's pretty steadily rising. My, my lifts, I'm... Uh, lifting the gym each week are going up. So just in about over a month, I'm up 18 pounds, yeah. and I'm six of four. And then in terms of uh, European or or whatever the other form of measurement is, it's uh, I'm 93 centimeters, and I went from 87 and a half kilograms to like 96 kilograms. So mm-hmm. yeah, and you know we're making progress. We're we're tracking. We're tracking the weights. We're doing all that. Four days. We switched to five days. Today was our first day of a five-day split. We're going to continue to go from here. Um, and that's, you know, j naturally, when it comes to anything, I mean, he's a tracker. And that's why, um, you know, he has a lot of success. So when it comes to the dating uh, the dating stuff. The fucking girl. Yeah. When it comes, you know, that's why he's been largely successful with the dating stuff. Because, what you know, he's pretty much tracked everything. And that's that served him well. Um, as far as training with me, because what do we do? We, we track everything. A lot of people, they make the mistake, you know, they go into the gym and they're, you know, week one, they're lifting 20 pound dumbbells doing, you know, 10, 15 reps. And then by week eight, they're still doing the same thing. You have to track and you have to study what you did for the week. And then from there, okay, where can we tweak things? Where can we increase the weight? Shit. Yeah, I know. Neither one of us has been in the football season this much, but yeah, it sucks like Patriots have by one. Yeah. Um, so that's, you know, that was a major advantage J-Mo had um, when it comes to this. He tracks every, he has a, he's tracking oriented. So, you know, religiously, he's tracking his weights. Um, we're, we're tracking it together. And, um, you know, every week we're saying, okay, where were we at last week? Okay, boom, we can add five pounds. Here. Yeah, we can add 10 pounds here. And we all, we, you know, we're all, it's also going by how we feel. You know, it's not just me yeah. um, telling J-Mo, okay, do this. It's it's more of a collaborative effort you know say for instance we're on uh i don't know let's say we're on deep climb barbell bench press or something we'll be like uh you know we did um i'm just putting throwing out a number we did 135 right, let's do 135 for 15 and it's not just him just saying okay yeah it, well, i'm going based off of how he feels well i feel pretty good today we did 135 for 15 last week you want to do 145 for 150 i'll be like yeah, okay. You feeling good for that? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go with that and see where we're at from here. So it's definitely it's definitely a team uh effort. It's not just me dictating and you know, like I said, so far J Mo he's done he's done very, very well. And yeah, it's, it's only a month in. And it's yeah. like yeah, it's like algorithmic though. It's like uh yeah. like with game, like a lot of with a lot of the other game tactics and stuff I give you guys, I'm like, you're gonna wanna do this and I break it all down like flow charts. Mm-hmm. This is basically like you pump in like these nutrients, you get this much water, you get mm-hmm. this much sleep. And then when you yeah. track your workouts week to week, you're just going up little by little. Like one one guy I knew that was pretty big. He told me it's like building or it's like stacking paper plates. So it's like each week you're going up and up and up in weight. So it's adding more resistance to the muscle mm-hmm. and then building the muscle bigger. And this is like I'm not like trying to brag now. Like look, I'm fucking huge. But like when you see that before picture, the yeah. January first, like I had huge bags under my eyes. My skin complexion yeah. was looked like shit. Yeah, that's the thing I was also gonna say. This isn't. I mean, it's really like. We're working on a full transformation here because yeah. obviously working out with me, listening to me from a nutrition standpoint, that's going to, you know, that's, that's a bonus. That's obviously that's going to happen. But what I was really focused on is the overall health and vitality. That's a big thing. The, the skin's clearing up. The, uh, um, the bags are starting to go away. The, you know, any premature wrinkling and crow's feet around the eye area, that's slowly starting to, to go yeah. away. And the cool thing too is like, not, not only is this like getting me in like, good discipline and good habits and yeah. stuff but i'm eating like all organic whole food stuff like yeah. it's all um I'm eating like steak grass-fed beef free-range eggs like uh 
what's the chicken cage? Oh, that's that's for the eggs. But all, all the healthy, all the healthy shit that we used to eat in the wild, fucking nuts and berries and uh, taking like superfood green powders mm-hmm. and in my shakes, my protein shakes, I'm dumping mm-hmm. in like kale and spinach and you know I'm having broccoli with the brown rice and all that shit. So mm-hmm. I'm eating really good. So I feel like way more energetic. I feel a lot more. Um, I feel like just more like everything's just kind of like even kilter. It's mm-hmm. probably because I wait, I cut the alcohol way back too. That and there's just certain like you know it's having an impact on other things you know, um I think you said you know sleep's coming a little bit easier to you you're getting more, yeah. on a more normal uh, well before I, I was passed out a lot of times after drinking a whole bunch yeah and then uh Jesus and then uh you know that alcohol is what it disrupts REM sleep yeah and then uh plus what's the other part of that um. I think I read a statistic recently that alcohol slows down slows down uh, protein synthesis by like twenty five percent or something. So it's you're just like you know you're pushing against yourself. You're doing that, you know. And I, I had some slip ups where we where we went out and I drank a whole bunch, but then like that fucked up my meals the next day. That fucked up my water. Yeah. Um, I couldn't give one hundred and ten percent in the gym. You know. So now mm-hmm. I'm I've just kind of lost like mentally. I've kind of lost interest in, in drinking regularly too. Yeah. And I'm able to run sober sets like. I would say almost just as good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I kind of had this mentality where I was like, oh, because I, I was drinking for so long when I was doing mm-hmm. game. Um, you know, and I'll still have here and there, like if we go out, I'll have like one or two or something, but I don't. Yeah, I don't there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, I don't get hammered. The good thing is we're, we're away from, you know, your old habit of, you know, getting into hurricane mode all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Jesus. Um, yeah, it's a, okay, so so kind of, this is like where I'm at right now, like you can see there's like some definition yeah. shit coming out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to cut some body fat down, I'm at like between 16 and 17, oh that chick's have a pig story, I don't know, uh, between 16 and 70% body fat, we're gonna try to get me down to like yeah. between 10 and 12, yeah, and that's at, why we, you know, yeah. we switched up, now we're in a five day split, now we can, uh, we can do a little bit, we don't have to rush, you know, get through all the body parts, we can, uh, we can spend a, we can take a little bit more time, use a, have a little bit more volume, you know. So going forward, we're on a five day split now. I'm gonna start integrating, um, obviously more volume into the workouts for JMO because now we kind of have a bit of a foundation built. Um, we're gonna keep building from here. We're gonna keep tracking the weights. We're gonna keep increasing, um, little by little. Um, we'll probably start adding in, not only to build density of the muscle, but also to. You know, continue to to forge that character in the gym. You know, I'll start adding in some supersets, giant sets, some drop sets. Um, yeah, it's really good. It's really good too to have them with me. Like you guys, for yeah. those of you that are trying to get into lifting, try to have a partner with you, yeah. especially if somebody knows what they're doing or has a lot of experience in the gym. Yeah. Because, you know, there's not so much anymore. But in the beginning, there was days I didn't want to go, and I, you know, I went just because it was accountability. Mm-hmm. Or it's or sometimes you want to just like end a workout early. Jesus. Sometimes you want to just end a workout early because you're like. Yeah. fuck i'm like spent you know like when we we do the this, yeah. we're doing an abs workout every day mm-hmm. um it's like a five minute workout i can actually put that in the link here at the or in the description at the bottom it's a five minute free um oh motherfucker here hold on one sec all right i actually gotta go there's a, a chick about two hours like every fucking video yeah. uh, i'll put the, the abs link in the bottom here it's a five minute abs workout but there's some days where i don't want to do that at the end because i'm fucking spent and we're like yeah let's fucking do it um you know, or, or finishing all the reps on exercises. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. fuck. And he's like, no, three more. Yeah. yeah. So it really helps. And I'm, uh, by the yeah. time, dude, like, June comes around, like, I'm already seeing, like, here, like, I would be happy with this shape in a month, but yeah. we're going to push it at that same intensity yeah. or higher. Yeah. For- it's like, uh, it's like Arnold, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger, all the, uh, um, all the greats from the past. Um, you know, how many, re- you know, everyone wants to know how many reps should I do, how many sets, you know, guys like Arnold and Muhammad Ali. You know, their famous tagline was, you know, I only start counting when it starts hurting. And that's what it is, you know. Like, you know, when j and I were working out, a lot of times I'll be like, go for 12, go for 15 or something. And then he, he'll get there. I'll be like, no, you got one more. You got two more. Those one more, two more. Are you like, that shit, it adds or up. Or you, you move the peg up on the weight when I'm not paying attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this feels fucking heavier. He's like, oh, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. There's little, <laughs> there's little tricks. I mean, I've been doing this for twelve years. You know, there's little, there's so many little mental tricks. Um, it's good though, and, I, and play, play yeah. fucking metal or rock music in your headphones. Cause, yeah. Like I'll wait for like a fucking drop to hit, and it's just yeah. like, like corn or Deftones or something, yeah. and it just makes you like power through it. Yeah. 
so all right well yeah we want to keep this short but yeah mm -hmm. we'll keep we'll keep uh posting these every three or four weeks and mm -hmm. uh you guys will see the trans transformation but i finally feel comfortable wearing a tank top mm -hmm. what better tanked up than jesus so yeah. all right guys all right take care folks Thanks. later